All right, I'm going to be making cinnamon strudel coffee creamer. And for that, you'll need um, heavy cream, uh, almond extract, vanilla extract, cinnamon, maple syrup, whole milk, and I think that's it. So you're going to take a cup of heavy cream and a cup of whole milk and you're going to put them together in a saucepan over just like medium heat and then you're going to add the uh, it's four tablespoons of maple syrup add that to it and you're using the maple syrup as the sweetener in the creamer. This is an all-natural coffee creamer. And then we're going to take its one and a half teaspoons of cinnamon. I already have it pre-measured here. And you're going to add that to it. And you're going to whisk it together. Cinnamon has a hard time combining well with liquids, particularly milk. But you just do the best you can, and as the milk heats up, that will help it combine better. You're just going to let this heat up over the medium heat until it starts to steam. And then once it steam, comes to steaming, then you remove it from the heat and add the vanilla extract and the almond extract, which I've already combined into here. It is two teaspoons of vanilla extract and one teaspoon of almond extract. And I'll put this recipe in the link below. She has several different ones. There's one for pumpkin spice, but this is the cinnamon strudel one. starting to warm up. Mmm, that's very cinnamony. Just want to keep stirring it, making sure that that cinnamon breaks up nice and fine. We're just waiting for it to start to steam. This is a good coffee creamer recipe because, again, it's all natural. 
it's sweetened with maple syrup and you know all the ingredients that go into it and something that's if you've ever looked at the back of most coffee creamers out there in the store there's so many ingredients and it's just ridiculous how many ingredients there are in it um, so this is nice that there's a lot less ingredients and you know exactly what's in it and it's all natural ingredients so I like that about it now you want to make sure that the cream and the milk are not close to the expiration date or else this will expire more quickly in your refrigerator all right and I'm starting to see steam come up from it I don't think the camera can catch it but Yep, there's starting to be some steam. So we're gonna whisk it one more time. And then we're going to remove it from the heat. And then add our vanilla extract and almond extract here. And then whisk that together. Now, you want to store it in a glass bottle. I have an old milk container here that I'm going to store it in. And you're supposed to strain it through a fine mesh sheath, I think just to get the cinnamon pieces out. But I don't really have one of those, or I don't even have a strainer where I'm at right now. So I'm just going to pour it all in and then shake it each time before I use it so the cinnamon gets nice and mixed around. And plus that'll give me extra cinnamon flavor in my coffee when I drink it. So I've already got a funnel set up here. And I'm just going to try and pour this in there. glass jar and then I just store it in the refrigerator and I'm going to shake mine each time before I use it because the cinnamon is still in mine but that's how you do the cinnamon strudel one and it's a great recipe I really like it and if you guys like it too go ahead and you can go to the girls website who posted the blog originally on it the original recipe and thanks for watching and I will see you next week all right bye